I made it up upstairs and I how are y'all tonight? I've seen some of these people for years. I have. I notice when they come in the door, I so said, I know that lady, I know that guy over there. And I haven't been here in two or three years. I don't come down as much as I used to. I'm getting too old now. So, but I said, have a good, oh, oh you, you're gonna be here for a while. So, but I, I've been having a good time since I come down. I gotta leave tomorrow and go down to uh, Tunica and play. Then I go down to Florida and play on Sunday, Monday, Saturday. So it's been keeping me pretty busy this month. And y'all want to know anything? Any questions? Well, I can't go that far. <laughs> yes, ma'am, I threw the shoes out the door, out the window. Yeah. And that's a true story, yeah. He didn't like it, but he got over it. The only thing is, way back then, they only had single lane highways, they didn't have these interstates like you got now. So it was easy to just stop off at a little store and buy them another pair of shoes. Until we found another river to throw them in. So, but uh, he, even though at that, he would, he would pay us back one way or another. He always got his back. He never forgot nothing for, it could have been years. I was in Hollywood one, one year and uh, I went downstairs and bought me three shirts. I thought it was really spiffy, you know. And I said, I said, I'm going to go show Elvis these shirts. Maybe, maybe he wants some of them. So I walked upstairs. I said, how do you like my shirts? He said, oh, they're really nice, DJ. And he reached up and grabbed it and tore my shirt open. I said, now why did you do that? He said, the shoes. You remember my shoes? I said, yeah. <laughs> payback time. It was payback time. That's what I said. He never forgot a thing. So. But as you know, I was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame on April 4th. And I thought that was nice of them to do that, me and myself and Bill Black. They had a lot of good guys up there. They really did have some good musicians uh, from England and some good people from over here. And uh, we just had a great time. It, was, it lasted about 10 or 12 hours. But boy, we had a good time. Now, everybody was so nice up there, so if you ever get a chance to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, take a chance, just go up there and take a look around. It's quite a building, it really is. So I'm gonna let y'all go, I'll get off. They got some more entertainments coming out, I know. And uh, let me see, oh, there he is, right behind me. Oh, there he was. Let's give it up for DJ Fontana, ladies and gentlemen. He's gonna be here throughout the evening. He has his I'll book back there. I'll be up front. Yeah, the beat behind the king, as told by, of course, legendary drummer DJ Fontana. You know, one of my favorite stories was how you first met Elvis. Can you just tell us real quick about that? Uh, was it Louisiana Hayride? Mm -hmm. You know where Louisiana is, don't you? Down. A little bit further south than here. But uh, he was to perform there a couple weekends, so they asked me what I played with him. I said, yeah, I'll show up, and that's what I'm here for. So we worked the first night, and he come back the second weekend, and we did it again, the third weekend, he did it again. And then finally he come back and said, you know, we're gonna go to Texas for three or four days, you wanna go? And it was only about 50 miles away. I said, yeah, I'll go. So I went with him that night and he come back. He said, you know, DJ, we're gonna go home, and we don't have nothing. He said, we may never get another date the rest of our lives. And he was serious, because he was brand new. He didn't know how this was gonna take to him, you know. So, uh, he, he got back, we, we got back to Texas, and that's when the lid just blew wide open. Yeah, so, he, but he was afraid of it. He was afraid of it. He really was. Great story. The legendary DJ Fontana, he has more of them. Him and his beautiful wife Karen are backstage, so one more round of applause for DJ Fontana.